We have a steel wire of length L, at the center of which we are hanging a mass M. So after some time, it will go to a maximum elongation and will stop. We need to find what will be the resultant descent of the point O. So we need to find what is this distance X. Young's modulus of steel is, steel is given. So first thing immediately we can do, because the block has come to rest, we can balance the forces. So on the block, mg is downwards. And if this angle is theta, then this angle is also theta. So upward force is t sin theta plus t sin theta. So mg is equal to 2t sin theta, which gives t is equal to mg by 2 sin theta. So why we are finding t? Because we need to make use of Young's model of, models of steel. So we get rid of t by writing that as y a delta l by l. So original length was l by 2. So l becomes l by 2, delta l by l by 2. So now in this equation, the value of sine theta, so we are going to use approximations. So sine theta will be x upon l by 2. Area of this wire will be cross sectional area will be pi d square by 4 and delta l we don't know so delta l we need to calculate so let's just do it by a brute method so initially it was l by 2 and it has descended by x so the change in length is delta l so that is given by root of l by 2 square plus x square minus l by 2 hypotenuse minus l by 2 so because x is small we'll take the binomial approximation. So that will come to this. And eventually it will come to be x square by L. So that is the delta L. So we'll put that value also, which we have got in terms of x. So we put those values in this equation and some of the things will get cancelled and we'll get the value of x to be this in terms of whatever is given in the problem. So this is our answer. Now one wrong approach which many students do, so up to here they are fine, but then delta L they try to get by a different way. So what they do is, they will draw a perpendicular from here, So this is delta L. So they write delta L as x sin theta, which sounds reasonable. And then x they write as L by 2 sin theta, or L by 2 theta because tan theta is same as theta. So if you do that, you will get delta L is equal to L theta square by two. And then you can write theta as X upon L by two again. So you'll get the answer as two X square by L, which is wrong because as we know, right answer is X square by L. So the mistake here is when you take so when you write delta L is equal to x theta, that is already an approximation. And then on top of that, you write x is equal to L by 2 theta. So that is an approximation on an approximation. So we cannot do that. So here you will see we have only done one approximation in every quantity. So we have not done approximation within an approximation and then, then put that value here. We have not done that. So we approximated sin theta to be x by l by 2. That is fine. And we approximated delta L to be x square by 2. That is also fine. But within approximation, we cannot do another approximation. And that this value will become compromised then. So that we have not done here. So we have taken two approximations, sin theta and delta L, but they are not on top of each other. All right.